Hey guys, Sekman and Joe3 here, and today I'm back with part 6 of the Nether survival. And, um, yeah, there was a new snapshot, and, uh, new things got added. Now, you're probably wondering, why are you just doing the snapshot now? Well, if you've been watching the last episodes, you know that I filmed them pretty much in the same day. Snapchat came out about, like, yesterday or two days ago, I think. So, yeah, basically, all we're really doing in this series so far... Or our next plans is, well, <clears throat> we need to get more resources. We need to finish this up. And we need to finish our house. We need to explore more. And, um, yeah, oh, there's one of the new mobs down there. <clears throat> so, there's something I want to try. But, apparently, uh, you can't use the wood like the warped wood and all that you can't use that for um fuel in a furnace now i don't know how we'd get a furnace here anyway but we need one thank goodness we don't have to smelt the gold though but uh yeah we i do know how to get some certain things except for a saddle unless we find one in a fortress, which we have to find another fortress, but then we gotta go far and we're also trying to find another um like the red biome. So yeah, we tried to uh explore the soul, whatever. Did not work out, it's not seeming to go too great. But yeah, so that's where we're at right now. But we can basically just explore around a bit. We could if we could also get dispensers if we want to use them on the new or on the um respawn thing. So that every time we respawn, we stand on the pressure plate and it dispenses glowstone into it. But I don't think we're gonna be able to get that until we go to the overworld. Which is gonna be a while because we need to get more gold, but we don't have any tools. So, we're stuck in a pretty, don't know, situation, I guess. Let's just get some glowstone, though. And that seems about it for the glowstone. Something I want to test out. I mine this right here. I probably will not get the gold. It's going pretty slow. It is an ore, so I assume we need a tool to do it. And this could be a waste of some gold that we could have been getting, but... Yeah, we didn't get nothing. I was just hoping there was an alternate route, just in case. But I knew it wasn't going to work, but we had to try it. So many Endermen, once we finally get to the overworld, we are gold. We also need to uh, get those blaze rods. Where did we come from? So this kind of just wraps around here. Anyway, my school, um, they extended the no school or whatever. We can still leave our houses, so our city's not in lockdown, but can't really do much i guess now we gotta do even more work from home it does suck especially since uh, my video production class but whatever i guess so i'm kind of getting a little bit familiar with the area i know how to get to certain places especially the place we got lost at and I know how to get to the fortress two different directions. So, it's good to know your way around. Okay. And here's one of them. I'm just going to go to the left there. Did we ever get that glowstone from down here? I mean, that thing kind of is a landmark, and it's like, oh yeah, that's where this is. But we're going to take that glowstone.
that's a lot of glowstone. But we could continue doing the house. It's just going to be very slow because we won't have much tools to break all the stuff. So, yeah. But we're going to get tools back somehow, eventually, I guess. But, yeah, so there's new mobs. They're called the Striders, and they walk on lava. And you, if you get a saddle, you can place it on them. And then if you get uh, a fishing rod and a warp shroom or whatever, you can get a shroom on a stick, and then you can, they will follow it. And you also use those shrooms to breed them, and they'll follow it too, I think, even if it's just in your hand. And, yeah. They, um, that's a good way to get across lava. Now, I bet you're wondering, is it possible to even get a saddle? Another, I think you can from a fortress. And when you kill them, you get string, and we can get uh, uh, sticks from that wood over there. So, well, if you count it as wood, but I do. And, um, yeah. So, basically, first off, we need to get all this glowstone. Some glowstone down here we need. We just, uh, you know. All right. But yeah, we can do that, and then we can ride them across lava. So, it's pretty cool. Okay. You got a lot of glowstone. Not fast. I want to get the rest there. <clears throat> Episode 5 was pretty crappy. I was deciding to delete it, but then I was like, well, I lost some stuff too. And... <clears throat> tried to explore, and I guess I wanted them to see that, so, yeah, okay, there should be enough, I don't know if it's super quiet for you guys, if you want it to be louder or not, or if it's too loud, or it's just not bothering you, but if I changed it, then it would be. Okay, I think we forgot one up there. No? Alright. So, I guess we're done with glowstone hunting for today. And for a while. We still need to find some hoglins. Once we find a red and other wart, whatever. Oh, it's going to be tough. Because... I probably will want to live there for the food, and there's a lot of piglins there, so you can do a lot more, you know, trading, I guess. And, uh, yeah, the only thing good about here is, well, those shrooms and the endermen. We're going to have to find one of these again. Hopefully it's not too far, but... I mean, I tried to go in that direction. We couldn't really do much. Okay. This is uh, not, not a good idea. Let's go back up. I always forget where I came from. Unless they do have these in the other biome. Because I got this crimson one. So, I think I found out that the Crimson Forest is actually the red one, and this one's the warped one. I don't remember what I said before, if I said this one was the Crimson one um, in the past episodes. I think I got that wrong, so please forgive me if I did not know. But, oh, but yeah. Alright. Well, I'm going to need my glowstone. This one seems to take a little bit longer to mine than the other one. I'm thinking of like a way to get up to my house using these warped vines or twisted vines, I think. I think they're twisted vines or roots. What were they called again? I don't remember, but why am I up here? I need to be down. Yikes. 
All right. Let me see. Do we even collect any? We did once. I don't know how. Oh, like right here. Twisted vines. Or twisting vines. Yeah. Just so tough not to like you're not even really looking at the Endermen and they all already get aggressive. It's like, come on. Even in the end, they weren't like this. But you can see them all across the lava. The um ooh. Need some blocks. Any tana. Here we go. But yeah, it's pretty cool to see some new creatures. Kind of looks like a mod, but it's what everything looks like when it's new, right? Of course, we went over this one. We didn't need to. We're going to die from that. Okay, we didn't. We got a lot of glowstone, though. But once we run out of glowstone, we're going to have to go glowstone hunting again. Resources, pretty tough. And that's for sure. And there is a lot of gold, but... Wait, I might be an idiot. Didn't we get a ton of gold? I think we turned it on the ingots and, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, that sucks. Let me turn these into glowstone. Just gotta keep clicking this. Okay, let me click this so that's not as loud and annoying with that clicking. From my mouse. A full stack. Got a full stack from that. That's crazy. For a set for a while. So we got four here. And then 64 and 13, that's how many more lives we got. So I guess you could say it's like you actually have life before you have a game over. All right, well. I guess we can start on the walls. Hmm. Thing. I need an iron or something. I should have made a weapon and not whatever I made. We're low on health anyway. But, you know, we could totally use that them to like the striders across the lava, because we could definitely find another biome. But you know that. Yeah. Not really much. To see, could totally build up to places though, explore, but eh. you do really have this blue feel here, especially with this wood. I'm thinking though, maybe we won't do the whole base because we might. Maybe an idiot. I don't have the diamond pick, and I placed this down. What if I wanted to move to my base? Oh, wait, but I need to bring this too. Um, we're pretty good, I guess. Maybe we'll keep this base, but it's like, what if it's not for like thousands of miles? I guess we're gonna have to make a bridge or something. All right, let's use some soul sand. No one likes this, but. We ain't gonna use it for anything else, so let's go. Just because we can. It's probably not where we're gonna fight it, but you know. Okay. So I don't exactly know what I'm going to achieve in this episode, but I at least just wanna. 
good plan of what we're gonna do. We're really stuck right now without any weapons, so we never really explored, fully explored that oh no. That fortress. So we could always go back. We need to get all the blazes there, that's for sure. But we never fully explored it. I don't want to die once. So sad. All right, there we go like this. No, that's a waste of blocks. And just connected ourselves to another part of this area that we could explore. So, yeah, just making some bridges around here. Obviously, I'm not that good of a builder or designer, so everything I'm going to make is pretty crappy. So, yeah, if you want to see someone make some grand staircase or a bridge, Probably isn't going to be me, but hey, you never know what we could end up. Come on. Some people are so good at that. Like that one guy that had five years of his hardcore world, and he did like crazy things. Uh, crap. Well, we can't really drop down. Oh. Oh, I see. I see how it is. This works. Boom. All right. Even more connected. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. All right. That's going to kill me, isn't it? No. Any drop from here, though, would. Uh, oh crap. Just building our way. We would have missed that jump, we'd be screwed. How are we going to make it back up if we lose where we are? I don't want to lose all this soul sand out here. Of course. Well, let's go back out and find it, I guess. Soul sand sucks. We need to get soul speed like that. We've always, we've explored, I guess we've explored more of that area. And some of over there, but we didn't really explore it over here. And I tried exploring the other area. Soul Sand Valleys are just so dangerous. These look like Soul Sand Valley cliffs, though. Not like total valleys. So I just hope there's not as many gas. It's a lot of skeletons, though. Soul Sand Valleys suck. And the Endermen are all over this place. Nether is really a tough place now. That's for sure. That would have killed me. It was the last one. Alright, let's follow. Where are we? Wait a minute. What? Where was I at? It's over here, but I just can't find the path that I took to get here. Alright. Just more forest. I don't feel like we're going to find a crimson forest for a long time. We really need to focus on getting weapons, though. That should really be our main objective, but we're not doing that, so, you know. Get that out of here, man. Get 
get that lava out of here. Why does it want to continue? My gosh. Alright, well. Uh, we're totally lost by now. How big is this biome? Like, I one time had a seed. Was it the one for the snapshot? I don't remember. Like, the first video I made for the snapshot. There was all three biomes. Literally connected at one point. Now this just straight up sucks. So we're not finding anything. Do striders attack him? I think they said they were peaceful. Oh, crap. No. How did that happen? Well, whatever. It looks like it's the end of the episode, so thanks for watching, guys. If there's anything you want to see me do on this channel, comment that down. If there's anything you want to see me do with a certain game, comment that down, and yeah, see you next.